Damn these war chiefs. They've caused so much death and destruction. Scavengers are running amok. Just hordes upon hordes of filthy ghouls. Filthy ghouls? I thought all of Mordor's creatures were majestic in their own way. Majestic? Ghouls? Now you stop right there, Captain. They are an aberration. Those filthy little mongrels, hiding underground with their beady eyes, gnawing and biting and scratching and... <laughs> if I didn't know better, I'd have thought you'd see eye to eye with the little creatures. Are you... Are you comparing me with a ghoul? Oh, I'm glad this plague of ankle biters makes you laugh. Their numbers are growing out of control. They'll overrun all of Nurn. Well, you do have a point. So how can we curb this disease? There's only one way. We need to drag their vile queens from their nests and cut them down. A ghoul hive without a matron is like a meal without ale. Useless. <laughs> There was no matron. Aye, not this time. Keep rustling their mounds, though. Matrons will come, I promise you. Welcome back, everyone. It's Electrified 90s. In this mission, Matrons Rising, in Lord of the Hunt DLC for Shadow of Mordor, we are going to be completing a prequel quest to Stronghold Uprising, whereby we need to attract matrons as part of getting a ghoul uprising, which is the prequel quest to our next mission where we need to kill the war, the next war chief. So in this prequel mission, what we need to do is eliminate three ghoul matrons and how we need to do that is we need to attract ghouls by shooting bait until the matrons eventually come up. And what we also need to do as a bonus objective is to shadow strike kill a ghoul matron. So I'll be demonstrating that. We only need to do that once but I'm going to demonstrate it for each of the ghoul matrons that we fight because it's a nice easy way to kill ghoul matrons. So as you can see you've got a yellow bit come up on screen and we've now attracted our first ghoul matron. And that is how easy it is to kill a ghoul matron if you use Shadow Strike. If you use Execute, you don't necessarily kill them the first time. So worth just using a Shadow Strike to kill them. Okay, now on to the next area. And we've got another matron come out. There he is. And there's another shadow strike here. Okay, let's just spin out the rest of these ghouls and then head on to the last one.
Okay, so this is the last Ghoul Matron. As you can see, they can't be stunned either. So, just a nice quick shadow kill. Does the job. I am covered in ghoul food. I see now why Torvin kept his distance. Okay, so now to finish off the rest of these ghouls. And then meet back up with Torvin. To finish off this mission. And that is it, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Good news, Talion. You still haven't matched me for ghouls killed in a single afternoon. <laughs> for once, it is I who has come up short. I'll give you that one, Ranger. But killing this next war chief is going to be a tall order. You see, he rides upon a Graug. You'll have to flood his garrison with ghouls to set our enemies against each other. Thank you very much for watching everyone, please like and subscribe, as you can see Uga Kuga Graug Rider is the next Warchief that we need to kill and you'll be able to see me demonstrate how to do this in the video Stronghold Uprising. Thank you very much for watching everyone, please like and subscribe. All of Nuren would be infested in short order.